Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am going to work on this Trust Rex mouse, which is a vertical mouse. As you can see, it's quite similar to Logitech MX Vertical I have worked before. It has some nice RGB function, all the buttons are lighting up and also this logo here. And yeah, and it has a pretty strange fold. So as you can see, it's ni nicely lighting up all around. I can also navigate with this one now. So let's switch over to the screen capture. So now I know I am YouTube. If I press on with the left button a playlist, for the first click it worked OK. Let's press it once again. And it's OK. And as soon as I press this back button on the side, has this strange sound. Let's try again. No, this is still okay. Let's press then the forward button. Nothing happens. And let's click now with the left mouse. No, it's... And now it's going back. I only use the left button. I'm clicking now to my channel and it went back to, to the main page of YouTube. If I press with this button once again, it jumps back to Google. So as you can see, it's really, really weird. And it's also screwing up my other mouse that I use. This one. No, I cannot use it at all. I cannot do anything with this mouse. So it has some really, really weird issues. So let's take it apart. Okay, and I don't know I could remove this bottom part. I have to take care with this ribbon cable here, so I will disconnect this. And we might have an issue here in this area. So I have to somehow take this apart further. There are three screws. But I cannot remove those this way. Okay. So there were these plastic clips here that I could that I could uh, remove. And now we have a screw here and a screw here. Okay, finally it came apart. The screws are really, really poor quality. It's really not easy to take it apart. And I ripped already the one of the screws, but luckily I could remove it. And okay, so here, here we have one switches. This works fine, and here is the other one, and this is definitely dead. This is broken. And this is the DP switch, this is a different one. So most probably one of, at least one of our issues is this, this button here, or this switch here. So let's remove this, this board. I will zoom in a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, so here is the wheel assembly. There is an encoder. And there is the, the RGB LED. This is the button for the middle mouse scroll wheel. Two additional buttons. I assume these are for the left and the right mouse. And then here the, the good one for the forward and the broken one for the uh, reverse. And then also an additional RGB LED. Let's see it under the microscope. Okay, so this is our working switch and this is the dead one. Anyway, I have to remove this somehow. It looks like it's a through hole, but due to reason this is a one layer PCB and it's only soldered from here. Okay, so let's remove it somehow. So what I will try to do is, I will heat up only one side. And I'm trying to lifting it up. And I cannot really do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I will add a little bit of low mat solder. And then I'm hoping that I will be able to remove this switch heating one and the other side really fast and hopefully the low mat solder will still be in a molten state. And it's off. This is why I really like low melt solder. I only used a, a little bit and I was able to remove the entire switch with just heating one side of it and the other one was still in a modern state. Now I will remove the low melt solder from the hole. Okay, so I have to look up if I can find such micro switch somewhere and then we can, re we can repair this mouse and so I will be back. So I am back. I am back after roughly three months. I had to wait roughly three months for this little micro switch to show up from China. It's crazy, like, right? Yes, but it's not, not always easy to get these parts. It was not even easy to find this, this size for a reasonable price. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let's check if it works. I will just check it with my multimeter in continuity mode. And as you can see, if I press the button, then it's a short circuit, so it's good. So then let's just solder it back together fast. Okay, and that's it. So it's now nicely soldered in. It's only soldered from this side. Still works. And now let's put it back together. I hope I still will be able to put it together after three months. I hope I have all the screws, all the parts, everything. 
so let's see. Okay, so now that I put it all together, let's test it before I glue back the feet. It's being reorganized, it's nicely lighting up. Yeah, this is a pretty nice nose. So let me switch over to screen capture. And now, if you remember, these buttons were not working. Now, if I press this button, it should go back. So let's click at first somewhere. I click on my playlist, community, and then now if I click back, it should go back to the playlist, and it goes back to the playlist. If I click again on this one, it should go back to the videos, and yes, it goes back to the videos. If I press then on forward, it should go to playlist, and yes, it does. So it works perfectly fine. Right mouse works, left mouse works, scroll function works. So it works really nice. So I will just put back the all these feet. I will glue them back and we are done. So as you can see, this was a relatively easy fix, guys. Although I had to wait three months for the parts to arrive. I hope you enjoyed this video, if yes, please don't forget to, to like the video, subscribe to, my, subscribe to my channel, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!